Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the BeerCritic.com TV. TV. I'm Scott. And I'm Brendan. I mean, and he's Brendan, I'm Scott. And, and today, today we have Cisco, Cisco Brewery. Cisco. Out of Nantucket, Massachusetts. Nantucket. Nantucket. That's where Nantucket. Wings was filmed. What? Well. Was filmed. <laughs> that we're dating ourselves there. Oh, yeah. Nobody's going to know who fucking no, Wings are. Fucking wings that was a great... That's where Lowell got his start before he did that, <laughs> that wine movie. Remember the wine movie with oh, Lowell? Yeah, Lowell. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd he go? He He's off the planet again. Uh, I don't know. He's he was on the map for a little while and then pff, gone. He'll come Whatever. back. Whatever. He'll come back. Maybe he'll make a beer movie. Yeah, yeah maybe. All Which right. should lead us right into the news. A a anyways. <laughs> so we have some beers from Cisco. Cisco. Um, we've got... Cisco Whale's Tail Pale Ale. And Indy Pale Ale. Indy Pale Ale. So uh, we have two of... Uh, With the flagship and then one of their other ones. Yeah. Uh, this is a more of an English style. That's right. And then this is... This is East Coast meets West Coast IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so before we do that, we <clears throat> actually got the news. We got some news. Just some little tidbits to tell. All right, wait for it. <laughs> okay. What we got, Brendan? We got this is this is fantastic. Yes, let's hear it. This is fantastic. Women. Women. Eighteen to thirty-four. Eighteen to thirty-four. Now enjoy a craft beer over a glass of wine. Can you believe that? Way to go! How about illegal that? drinkers? Illegal. Yeah, I'm sure that 18, 18 to 20. Is, yeah, what's what's that? What, I don't what, know. what is that? And it's probably tilting the whole. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's like Mexico or Canada or something. <laughs> that's it's, excellent. Uh, yeah, so what's number crazy. two? Wine? Number two would be wine, yes. Okay. So, so the uh, unseated wine is number one alcoholic drink for... So, according to this, beer has been a favorite beverage among drinkers since 1985. Right. It typically, typically held second place. To wine. To wine, yeah. And now it's number one. And now it's number one. Okay. Yep. Now, and if anybody's interested, that's a Gallup poll. Yeah. So, you know, uh, that's right. So, yeah. I don't know if that's international or just national. Right. But way, anyway. to go, way to go, women. 18 <clears throat> Excellent. to 18 to 35. Okay. Uh, Second little tidbit of news is the uh, Stone Brewing Company has Stone. a, or they did, a homebrew competition. And the winner of the homebrew competition gets to have their beer made at their brewery and then distributed. Uh, nationwide. That's, that's it's huge. That's yeah. amazing. So, the winner, oh man, this sounds so good, is a coconut IPA. Coconut IPA. Ah, man, it just sounds so good. I, 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 I can't wait for it. Listen, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not a big fan of coconut. Yeah, but, but I you drink did that cocoa enjoy brown. that cocoa brown from Kona. That is, is strong fantastic. coconut. That's a really good beer. <clears throat> A cocoa brown is fantastic. I, well, they say. Um, I'm sure this has got to be really good. <laughs> I, it has to be. It has to be. It says, expect a brew with such a lusciously sweet tropical aroma, you'll be challenged to break away from inhaling long enough to take a sip. Soft in tone and texture, it's an elegant and restrained IPA that harmoniously marries lightly toasted coconut. With Citra and Galaxy hops. Oh, My tell us more, Father. God, does that sound good? Does, <laughs> does it not sound amazing? It sounds good. So you that's get that. Well, that's well IPA written. IPA that's punch. A, that's well written. With a coconut. Oh, I, I cannot wait. I cannot I wait. wait. I hope it makes it all the way to Florida. If not, we got to call Stone and uh, get some of this oh, beer. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, who did it beat? Oh, yeah. Get this. It beat out, I guess the second place or whatever, uh, was a vanilla chai spiced imperial milk stout. <laughs> How good does that sound? Can you, oh my that God. Sounds, that sounds amazing. And a wood aged California common, which is, that's, I, I mean, there are no Holy California shit. common beers. Uh, I mean, just. That's uh, what the, the second place was? Third. Oh, third. It was wood aged. Oh. And then a. Um, Chocolate imperial style there oh, with Mayan okay. spices and a citrus hopped double IPA. But, all right, coconut IPA. I am all about the coconut. 
I'm, I'm, I can't wait to try it. Yeah, me too. Hopefully we can try Yeah, hopefully it'll come, hopefully it'll distribute nationally yeah. and not just keep it over in there. And yeah. California. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Not a part of Okay, so, um, Cisco Brewery. Cisco. Out of Nanta. Oh, what did I just what, hit? What'd you do, man? I just screwed it up. For, just... I, I just screwed up for everybody, didn't That's I? your buttons. There we go. Um, I'm just trying to hit Ooh. buttons and oh. things. Holy okay, Cisco Jesus. Brewery of Nantucket. Nantucket. Really Mass. nice place. I've been there uh, one time. Oh. It was a rough plane trip over. Yeah. Spent the whole time throwing up on the side of the runway. But, you know, I've been in Nantucket. I've been in Nantucket. <laughs> and it was, right. what airport was it? Wings. The, the Wings, Wings airport. airport. <laughs> Wings. And everybody's probably saying, Ooh. what the? F- <laughs> Wings. Wings Airport. It was a TV uh, show back in the, what was it, late 70s? Get out of here. It's like early 90s. All right. Like 95? <laughs> 96? I don't, I don't know. I was, I was yeah, yeah. sleeping it's on the couch. Great right show. After. All right. So first one is going to be... Well, hold on. These guys are based out of Nantucket, Massachusetts. Yeah. By Randy and Wendy. Randy and Wendy. Established around early 90s. Early in 1993. Yeah. Yep. Um, and they are based at Cisco Brewing. Mm-hmm. Cisco Brewing. They were a nano... Mm. Brewery, yeah, that's right. And uh, possibly the first outdoor nano brewery, as the entire process was done in their backyard. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then they brought on uh, a guy named Jay, and, and that just helped. There we go. And now we are where we are today. Lift them and get a them down here. Big professional brewery Southwest. with some, you know, pretty good beer. Yeah. So the first one is their flagship. All right, Brendan. All right. I got it. It's already there. Excellent. <clears throat> there you go. This is the Whale's Tail Pale Ale. Whale's Tail Pale Ale. Whale's Tail Pale Ale. Whale's Tail Pale Ale. A, I like in- that name. Whale's Tail Pale Ale. It's pretty cool. And it's a, kind of a neat little label, too. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Whale's Tail Pale Ale. It's an English-style pale ale. It's their flagship. Jesus. Oh, that's what happens when you start shaking shit up. It's uh, wonderfully balanced with Maris Otter Malt, right? If our, if our producer could hand us a, uh, if our producer could come out here and hand us a um, <laughs> It has towel. hints of crystal malt and generously hopped East Kent Goldings. It has rich honey color, fruity hop aroma. It is named in honor of Nantucket's whaling. So... I didn't, I didn't realize that Nantucket had a whaling. What? Oh, yeah. I'm sure they did. Whaling? Old Massachusetts. Yeah, back in the day? What? Yeah, the whole... Oh, yeah, I don't mind that. That's that's uh, Beer Cat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank that you. Was Jessica. All right. I don't know why that happened. Uh, it might just be a little bit over and over carbonated, maybe. I don't know. It wasn't shaken up or anything. Shook up. Shook up. Shaking yeah, up. Whatever. Anyway, whale's tail. Tail. <sighs> okay. There you go. Uh, it is a nice copper. Kind of a golden mm-hmm. copper. Uh, decent head. It's like a one finger head. You know, lacing is not bad. Ooh, it's, uh, it's got a very mild... Very mild oh yeah, smell. yeah, 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 yeah. Very multi, very, very. Yeah. You common can, in English, English. Yeah, right? I mean, like it's definitely crystal malt, and oh, you dove right in. Yeah, that's <clears throat> that's actually. Oh wow. Yeah, it's very well balanced, right? It is, yeah. Very well it's, balanced. It's uh, it's sweet, but I, there is a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of bitterness to it. Yeah, a little hop kicks you in it's right somewhere in the middle. Doesn't last long, that hop. No, yeah, no. But I mean, the flavor dissipates pretty quickly. And then it just bounces right but out. I mean, if I'm going to drink this as a session <clears throat> beer, Holy crap. Um, that's kind of what I want from it. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a... Yeah, it's different than most... Uh... I don't know, I like it. I like it. Trying to put my finger. It perplexes you, huh? Yeah. You know what it is? Is it's 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 almost like it's 
simple. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a decent session beer. I mean, yeah. it's, it's definitely uh, very easy to drink. Uh, the flavor is oh, muted. Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, you want any more? No, I'm okay. Um, the flavor is muted, but it's definitely there. Uh, it's balanced. It's it definitely has that you know <clears throat> English style going on. You get a little caramel in it, a little mm -hmm. caramel. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I like crystal malt beers, and this is this is definitely a good representation. But yeah, on yeah, a hot day, it says though it's not like over. It says a slight touch of crystal malt. Is that what it is? is? Yeah. So which is a little surprising. Uh, if I can get back to the page. Yeah. It says, uh, and hints of crystal, hints. Hints of crystal hints malt. Of crystal malt. And generously hopped. Yeah. With East Kent Goldings. I don't know, I like it. It's very mild, I could drink a bunch of it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's Absolutely. a good drinking beer. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if I was watching the game or whatever, and this would be a good beer to... Yeah, not yeah, bad. Absolutely. Yeah, not bad. I'll take that. What, this? Yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. All right. On to All the right, next well, one. let's move on. All right. You pop them for I like their caps too. It's got a cool little. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Almost Aboriginal look to it. It's kind of cool. Okay, we have Indie Pale Ale. The description is finally a hoppy East Coast IPA. This beautiful red orange ale has a full malty body, balanced by fruity apric. Oh, why does that keep happening? Oh. They just bottle these things. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> That is very interesting, but we are prepared for anything here at the Beer Critic. Don't worry. Except for... They may have been hot and cold too many times, so... Yeah, I think we're good. Hot and you're cold. Yes and there we you're go. no. All right. uh, we're, we're the bomb. Okay, this beautiful red-orange <laughs> ale has a full malty body, balanced by fruity apricot and grapefruit hop character. Mounds of dank summit hops. I love that word, dank. Mounds of dank summit hops provide a deliciously quenching finish to this East meets West Coast ale. Great descriptions on these beers. That was really well written. 6.5% uh, alcohol. I don't know the IBUs. Is your dank? Uh, comes in 12 ounce, obviously, and 22. 22? Yep. Giddy up. And in draft by appointment. How cool is that? By appointment? <laughs> That's what it says, by appointment. I guess that means going to the actual brewery to the, you know, they probably have a... Oh, Ooh. you think? You think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, a Let's lie. call them up, make an appointment here in Southwest Florida. Bring, yeah, they come down and give yeah, us a drive. Yeah. Bring, bring your equipment. <laughs> wow, smell that. Huh? My God. Ooh, Ooh man. Wow, the color is really, really white, and is ex that is really. Uh, My head went away pretty quickly. Opaque, huh? I mean, that is. That is cloudy as a. Look at that! You can't see cloudy. through it at all. No, nope. that is pretty cloudy. Wow. What it is that that? What do they call it? Amber reddish. Yeah, it's definitely amber, or it's red with amber highlights. Uh, the head is <laughs> awesome. On mine, it is at least. Yeah. And the lacing is fantastic. Well, the smell is really, I mean, like I love that mounds of dank and that's what it smells like, just dank summit hop. Yeah, it smells that like wet feet. hop, that, yeah. that, yeah. That's what I was, in. it smells like uh, feet. <laughs> no, it does not. Don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. It, it's, it's no. Does, it smells like wet something. Wet hops. Wet hops. Yeah. Well, not everybody is, Living around wet hops, you know, know what I mean? Feet sounds terrible. Oh wow! It's like it's not. It's like a wet towel. Put it in your mouth. Mmm. Wow. That is really different, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot different than. Uh, yeah. Uh, than the whale's tail. It's it's Give me one of generously. Pencils, yeah. I'm gonna do that too. I didn't think about doing that beforehand. Um. Definitely an IPA. It's definitely hops there. I like the smell of it a lot. Mm. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's an IPA through and through. That is a. Oh yeah, there it is. That is nice and nice and bitter. Um, I get that kind of fruity, <clears throat> dry, Scatter. dry apricot kind of grapefruit. That's apricot. It's that right dried at the end. apricot. Right at the end. Yeah. You get that apricot taste to it. Mm. That's what I was trying yeah. to figure out. What? It's like eating a dried apricot. Yep. That is, I really like that a lot. That is, that is fantastic. I can almost chew it. Oh, man, that's good. Huh? Wow. That's good. That's a, that's a hoppy IPA. I'm a hop head, so there's never enough hops, but um, this is really well done. It's very tasty, isn't it? It is very, very tasty. tasty. And it sticks Good with stuff. you. You can feel it. My hole is out of my mouth. <laughs> I love it. That is great. Damn. I think they've just recently come to uh, Florida, too. So <clears> we should be able to get this oh, yeah. all the time. Now, how did you come about these two? Oh, yeah. So we got this through... A wonderful man, wonderful man named Bill. Bill, Bill, thank Bill you Vaughn. so much. Thank you. Thank you for this, man. Cousin of Vince. We're gonna have some more of their beers too, but we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a written review on them. We're gonna write up. That's what it is. It's it's that apricot finish to it that's throwing me off a little bit. No, no. But it's I love it. It is tasty. I'm sad we only have one. I have to go buy more. I really like that. Yeah, this is that probably. A, um, <clears throat> that's a very comfortable. It, it is. It's a, IPA. It's a low I, It's a low ABV, so you can have more than a couple and not, you know, yeah. unlike our, our last review we did, was it double IPAs? Yeah. Yeah. Double, yeah. 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 Stupid. Hops. That's right. Stupid. Bob. <laughs> stupid. This is great. But it's good. Thank is you very much. Uh, no, we killed the bottle. Oh, I know. Son of a Bitch. Too bad. All right, so there you have it. Cisco Brewery from Cisco Nantucket. Brewery. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how far they distribute. Uh, we get them in Florida, and they're in Nantucket, so I would imagine the whole East Coast can have it. Uh, I don't know how far west they go, but uh, give them a call or go on their website, ask them. Well, I, mean, I think perfect. you can actually. You perfect? Perfect. I think you can buy uh, from the website. Uh, it's set on the side. Yes, you can buy our beer or something Get out like of here. Yeah, well, we got a minute. Take it off. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just go to the website and figure it out. <laughs> I'm not. Cisco Brewery. Cisco Find Brewery. Them. Cisco Brewery. Really good beer. Um, yeah. Very tasty. Yeah, the Pale Ale uh, it was a good session beer, but the Indy, uh, the uh, the IPA is my favorite by far. Mm. Um, that was just a fantastic IPA. Yeah, it is good. It very is. good. Yeah. The apricot's different. Most of the time, we're getting grapefruit. Yeah. Or we're getting a little grassy. Earthy yeah. or grassy, yeah, mm. a little grainy. But yeah, this is nice. It's a nice change. So, again, thank you very much. Uh, check these beers out if you can. Yep. Um, if not, then just take our word for it. You know, they're good. And that uh, check us out online at thebeercritic.com. And, and on Facebook, Facebook. at facebook.com forward slash thebeercritic. That's right. Uh, and always please support our local brewers or non local right, yeah. brewers, in this case, Cisco. <clears throat> and there we go. I'm you have anything left? I'm freaking done. Well, just make believe. Just make oh, believe. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I know, you here, took the rest here, of it. Here, here, here. I'll give you some. I'll give you some. How's that? <laughs> there you, you go. How's the that? All right. Yeah, that's Cheers, much everybody. Cheers. All right. F you. All right. <laughs>